Ranking the best Ring of Honor players in Madden 24. Today, boys, do we have a stack promo. Today, we got so many cards to go over. Now, first off right here, though, we do get some lower overalls. So these are actually 91 overalls. I know the card art says a 96. This is them in the lineup with like their full boost as well. LG Crumpler is a part of Michael Vick supporting cast. When you have Michael Vick in the lineup, this is what he could be looking like up to a 96. Now, in my opinion, overall really doesn't matter. Main thing is really like abilities, but I mean, I, I think that is kind of nice. So, so 90 speed, obviously crazy, 80 run block. 275 so over that 245 weight threshold what you're gonna notice is on these 91 overalls okay this is what is interesting so right here we can see third down threat short and elite secure protector so baked on abilities third down threat short in elite secure protector tank back rqb in total if you add all these up it would be four ap what i'm very curious to see okay uh, they could be like mission of muck cards last year where you can't take these off you could take these abilities off these right here are some budget beasts for sure and we're going to cover even better ones too that do get like a better ability set I will say if you're able to take abilities off, none of the cards are trash. But if you can't, he is going to go ahead and be in the trash tier for me. And right after that, we do have Edron James. This time he's 91 speed, six foot two. This time he's a part of Devin Hester's supporting cast. But when we look at his abilities, okay, Leapfrog for zero, Tank for zero, Bruiser, RB Apprentice, and Evasive again for AP. This card just as a, a hold just really isn't good. So in my opinion, he is also going to be like in the trash tier. And we also got Heath Miller. I don't understand why this card exists, to be honest with you. But let's take a look at him. 90 speed, six foot five. 256 88 run block now those, those aren't like terrible stats across the board but when we look at these okay the baked on abilities backyard tight end for zero route tech for one post up secure protector third down threat again as a whole if you can't take these off he's pretty bad but if you can run backyard tight end on him for zero at a 91 overall given how cheap we i, I would assume he would be that would be tough he is a no, potential no money spend game changer if you can take off the abilities again is it likely no but i'm just trying to give you guys my thoughts on it and we also get dj reader this is JJ Watts supporting cast. So he gets defensive rally, enforcer supreme, inside stuff, interior threat, double or nothing. So again, if you can take off like these two right here, be pretty nice. Defensive rally, enforcer supreme, inside stuff. It's not like crazy, but again, I mean, at, at a 91 overall, the power moves, the finesse moves, the speed really isn't great. The abilities are good. I think overall, this card would be right here for me. But again, if you can take off some of the abilities, he might be right here. And right after that, we get Doug Smith right here, center. So 96 run block, 91 pass block power, 88 pass block finesse. But offensive line is really all about abilities, but he has a small line. Like 259, that's pretty small. Now, baked on abilities, natural talent, matador, and secure protector 1 AP. Can say we can take off these abilities right here. This is another potential no money spent game changer. And again, just as an overview of these 91s, is it likely that you're able to take those abilities off? No, it's not. I just wanted to cover it just so you guys know my thoughts if you can't. And if you can't take these off, then they're all going to be in the trash tier. Now, right after that, we do get login reward John Madden. This time he is a middle linebacker. Now, this card is six foot four, 260, 96 speed. 99 play rex actually kind of crazy 93 acceleration 94 zone he does get every single team chem as well and for abilities he can get the combo of lurk artist and mid zone knockout for one ap think he is a great free card for a lot of no money spend teams out there too really really good now do i think he's in the meta probably not especially with the theme teams too i can definitely see him right here now right after that we get the 95 overalls that go up to 98 when they're with the higher overall ring of honor player right so this right here is going to be jonathan joseph jj watt supporting cast now when we look at his stats 92 speed is terrible right but good man good play right good zone coverage it's 90 hits threshold but abilities okay secure tackler deep zone and pick artist dude if he could just get this stack right here pretty nice for one ap deep route ko meter mount ko inside shade is kind of what like like makes him bad for four ap total i think he's just a pretty solid no money spent card right here i get he's slow but in a zone based madden speed is not the end all be all and again if you can take abilities off this is going to be someone that will be a godsend for my no money spent team and then right to that we get musa muhammad right here he's six foot two only 92 speed so again a little bit slower 90s across the board for outbring though now we look at his abilities okay wide receiver prints for zero red zone threat for zero route tech for one again say for instance he could just be a zero ap wide receiver apprentice receiver this would be another person that's actually pretty good for no many spent teams and he could be a good little budget beast now again this is another card kind of similar to like doug smith and heath miller if you're not able to take the abilities off that he would also be in the trash here and right after that we do get roddy white so roddy white six foot height 92 speed 90s across the board for outbring running and now we'll look at his abilities energizer for zero runoff elite for zero this just really isn't a great card even from an ability standpoint so not great from stats not great abilities for me roddy white is going to go ahead and go in this trash tier now i know some people are going to take ben roethlisberger getting a 95 overall as disrespect but this right here is the best cheap quarterback in the game 
I don't care. Even if he has Gen 1, which I don't think he would. I believe when he's gotten cards, he's had to like his own unique release. But let's take a look at him, okay? 82 speed, 92 throw power, hits all the accuracy thresholds. And obviously he's not too mobile, but let's take a look at his built on abilities, okay? He gets Roaming Deadeye for zero AP. That's a meta ability. Master Tactician, which is How Rap Master, QB Playmaker, Conductor, all in one, zero AP. That right there is also another meta ability in the game. No look Deadeye for one really doesn't matter. It can help you throw crossbow. Are you going to be rolling out crazy with big men with 82 speed? Probably not, but it is 1 AP. But I mean, if, if we just swap no look dead eye for master tactician, would anyone really care? Gunslinger for 1 AP, fearless for 1 AP, Seth Feedly. Right here, this right here is a god stack. Seriously. What are you really missing right here? You get the fearless, you get set feet lead, you get Howard Master, you get Gunslinger. You're really missing gift wrap. So you get this for one, two, three, five AP. So he is a god god stack, like everything you need for six AP. And he also gets like Howard Master Gunslinger for zero right here. This right here is why I'm thinking you may be able to take off these abilities because why would they give him a custom bucket of Howard Master and Gunslinger? Howard Master, he gets Master Tactician. Gunslinger, he gets Gunslinger for one AP. Unless I'm just absolutely losing it. I know a lot of people in the comments might be like, oh, there's no way you think they're going to be able to remove abilities. This right here doesn't make sense unless you're able to. He is a great quarterback in the game. Like, seriously. I am actually really excited to use this card. And I know people are going to be like, oh, 95 overall big men. There's no way you think he's that good. Look at these abilities, man. And right after that, we do get Chris Hinton. So Chris Hinton right here, uh, 95 pass block finesse, 93 pass block power, 97 run block, 300 pounds. Gets identifier and linchpin for zero. No secure protector. So for me, it's just kind of like, eh, you know. So for me, Chris uh, Hinton is going to be right here. All right, now we get up to the 98 overalls that go up to 99s. The leader of the cast in the lineup, okay? So Lamar Woodley, Troy Palomalu supporting cast. So this card right here is 93 speed 91 finesse moves 96 power moves six foot two height we look at his abilities this time gets tackle supreme and lurk artist both for zero ap which is a pretty good it's a pretty solid ability stack man it's not crazy i think lamar woodley i would place right by john madden just in this tier list and right after that we do got jackie slater so jackie slater really good stats across the board he is under 300 pounds which i don't love but 95 pass block finesse 96 pass block power 99 run block now for his abilities edge protector for zero ap it's not secure pro but it's a zero ap offensive line ability i'd probably put him right here in the good tier as well i don't really think he's trash and now right after that we do get uh d'angelo hall michael vick supporting cast right here with 97 speed good man good zone good good press and 95 play rec. Now for his abilities though, he can get mid zone and deep out zone KO in total for one AP, which is a great stack in the game. He's a really good outside corner for sure. For me, D'Angelo Hall with that stack, he's he's basically kind of like Peanut Tillman without the, the slot CB flexibility, I guess I'd say. And he's also a little bit shorter, but another great card in the game, man. Like he's he's runnable, he's usable, he's good. Now we get Tommy Harris, Devin Hester supporting cast, 93 speed, 98 acceleration, good finesse moves, block shed, and pretty decent power moves at 91. Abilities this time gets secure tackler and interior threat, double zero AP abilities, which are actually pretty good, right? Pretty good defensive tackle in the game, man. I, I like the secure tackle i like the interior thread basically an upgraded uh weekly wild card jalen carter is he a great card in the game just with a lot of the the meta on defense right now a lot of it's edge shot elite a lot of it's lurk artists a lot of it's pre-lit defensive linemen i think good to great on him i could see either which way i'm gonna lean good right now just because i want to be a little bit strict today with how like game changing some of these cards are and right after that we do have brian fennerin so brian fennerin six foot five crazy good height again michael vick supporting cast he has 97 speed 90s across the board for outrunning gets red zone threat for zero ap and route tech for two i'm i was kind of thinking like route tech for two really he couldn't even just get it for like one i know obviously like a slight little nitpick but brian fenneran super tall receiver gonna get a great juke animation as well he's a really tall receiver he's kind of someone like mike evans in my opinion which is again a really good card in the game like my, like he is he's someone that's extremely runnable especially on a theme team he doesn't get crazy abilities or anything but he's extremely runnable and now we get andre johnson so andre johnson six foot three height 98 speed 90s across the board for outrunning he gets runoff elite for zero which and he's also jj watt supporting cast runoff elite for zero isn't really great i feel like they did him a little bit dirty on his abilities love that andre johnson is in the game for sure man love that andre johnson's in the game there's another card that i have pretty similar thoughts to brian fennerin he doesn't get like game changing abilities or anything but this is going to be a good card especially on theme teams and now right after that we do get tyron matthew so tyron matthew 97 speed 98 zone coverage he is five foot nine so a little bit shorter but when we look at 
his abilities, okay? He can get deep in knockout and mid zone for one AP. You would just want deep zone at this point. He's not bad, but you would just want deep zone. And also his height being a little bit shorter. I will say not a bad slot defender with pick card as mid zone for one, but I mean, Sauce Gardner gets that for zero. Based on all the cards, I'd probably put him right here, in my opinion. Lamar Woodley should go up to like right here too. Lamar Woodley, I'd probably put like right here. I think Fenerin being six foot five. With all the cards we covered, I'd probably place him like, and right after that, we do get Greg Olson. So Greg Olson, six foot three height. He does have 96 speed, 90 short, 90 medium route running. Now for his abilities, gets tight end apprentice and mid and elite for zero AP. Now this is going to be a tight end that can't juke crazy, but I like the tight end apprentice. I like the mid and elite. He's another really good card, man. He is really, really good. With that stack right there, runnable, good card in the game. I'd probably place him like right here as well. We also get Joey Porter right here. Dolphins, great. Now when we look at him, okay, he has 94 speed, 98 power moves, 90 finesse moves, 90 block shed for his abilities. Gets lurk artist for zero and then really not anything crazy. I mean, he gets extra elite for one. He's just kind of like, eh, to me. I just feel like the straight up pass rushers in this game just really aren't great unless they get pre-lit X factors. So for me, Joey Porter is going to be like right here. I mean, he might it be a little bit better than Tyron Matthew, but it's not really like by that much. Him and Tyron Matthew are probably my least favorite 98s. And we also get Nolan Cromwell right here. So Nolan Cromwell, six foot one height, 97 speed, 98 zone coverage, 90 man coverage. He gets deep zone KO and mid zone KO for two AP total like this stack on him. If I put him right here, I think I got him Greg Olson and Tommy Harris. You know what? We're going to go like this. We're going to go bang, bang, bang. There we go. Brian Fenner and Greg Olson, Tommy Harris moving up into the great tier. Kind of even it out a little bit. Like I, I like secure tackler. I like interior threat on Tommy Harris. I like the six foot five of Brian Fenner. I like Greg Olson, mid and elite tight end apprentice for zero. So yeah, I do think D'Angelo Hall and Big Ben are better than all these cards. And now we get to the 99 overalls. Now the first one we got right here is Devin Hester. Devin Hester is five foot 11, 190. Now you get an upgrade token. It's, it's unclear whether you get one for each or you only get one total. So first off stats, 99 speed. Speed, 90s across the board for route running, but really all about abilities, okay? So for X-Factors, he does get the Yakimup Combine one. I think that's the biggest one. These Ring of Honor X-Factors are on for 10 plays, then you have to reactivate them with the uh, activation conditions. So Baked On Ability gets Return Man and Energizer for zero. That's cool. Now Custom One gets Playmaker for zero. He can get Playmaker for zero, then Mid and Elite for zero, and then potentially like Runoff Elite for zero. He does not get really great. Like he is a great receiver in the game. He does not get like top in abilities for a receiver. Like the mid and elite's cool, playmaker's cool, but things I'm looking for on receiver, I mean, we just got Stefan Diggs, Route Tech, Deep Elite for zero. Route Tech would have been great. Evasive jukebox short elite like justin jefferson ltd of the compass so in my opinion devin hester isn't a meta changing receiver like to where he's best at position this might seem like a crazy take to some y'all i might say brian Fennerin is better because he's six foot five as well is that a crazy take like i i would probably put him on the same level too is that a wild take let me know down below in the comments if you agree or disagree and i get two speed points but i mean six foot five that's what like seven inches of height now after that though we get troy palomalu troy palomalu is crazy so X Factor wise, you can't get universal coverage combine X Factor, which is similar to Tariq Woolens, or it, it is Tariq Woolens. It's not similar. It is. But also ability wise too, uh, 99 speed, 99 zone coverage has 98 play rec as well, but it's really all about abilities. So abilities, custom one can get deep zone, mid zone, or flat zone. So in this bucket, I'd run deep zone KO for one. And it's custom two, you can get mid zone KO for zero AP. And also with an upgrade token as well, you can then get flat zone KO for zero. This card is pretty godlike, kinda crazy. He also gets baked on ability pick artist for zero. He's basically like Jair Brown, but you don't have to go ahead and use an upgrade to or an X Factor spot on him. Troy P is insanely good, man. Best at position for sure. Now, right after that, we get Michael Vick. So Michael Vick right here, uh, 99 speed, 99 throw power. He is lefty, okay? He is a lefty quarterback. Some of y'all not gonna like that. Let's take a look at X Factors real quick. Is there anything that I think is like you need to run? I mean, Escape Artist is cool. Truz is cool. Running Gun NFL Combine like that. Pass Lead Elite would not recommend this. And also Truz is also cool. It's like Bose X Factor. So you can run this. They say traditional for QB release. I went back, watched a stream. They didn't say anything about this, but Mutt.gg is usually good with this stuff, so could have traditional four. I'm going to rank him like Slinger one, but just know if he has traditional four, that makes him even better than what I'm saying. So baked on ability right here, evasive for zero. That I don't really care about. Now, you might be like, oh, like evasive on running back. Juking in the open field with your quarterback, you're kind of asking the fumble, and this is just like, I, I feel like this is a risky ability to use. Let's take a look at the other ability stack. Custom ability bucket one, set feet lead, fearless, gunslinger, Custom bucket two, 
Master Tactician, Passly Elite, Roaming Deadeye. So, so I'd probably run Set Feet Lead for one, Master Tactician for one, and then in Upgrade Token Bucket three, you can get uh, what's it called Set Feet Lead, Fearless, Gunslinger, Master Tactician, blah 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 blah. So I would go Set Feet Lead for one, Master Tactician for one, Fearless for one. That in total is three AP right there. He would get Gunslinger for two AP. That would be five. Then I'd go Roaming Deadeye for seven, and then Gift Wrapped for eight out of your nine AP. That is the stack I'm going to be running on him tomorrow. I think this is going to be the new meta quarterback. It's a lot of AP you have to spend on him, which is kind of why I think Big Ben, your people are going to be sleeping on Big Ben. Watch out for Big Ben's release tomorrow. I'm telling y'all, man. And right after that, though, we do get JJ Watt. So JJ Watt this time, 6'5", 288, has 95 speed, 99 power moves, 99 block shed, 95 finesse moves, 99 acceleration. Crazy good stats. I, I was kind of curious to see if he got like all 32 team chems, like, like his previous card. I believe it was a team diamond. But anyway, so we look at his X factors. Gets Colossus ring of honor that starts on for 10 plays they also gave him bottleneck which why why would a left end get bottleneck hello anyway baked on ability is run stuffer kind of crazy so run stuffer is actually an x factor i believe this is essentially basically inside stuff no outsiders it might be inside stuff no outsiders on crack by the way too other than that he gets lurk artist for zero he can also get out of my way for zero or edge elite for one created bucky you can go enforcer supreme secure tackler lurk artist out of my way for zero three abilities on them secure tackler out of my way and uh what's called lurk artist so jj watt with that stack with run stuffer by the way i think he is the best non x factor defensive end just because you can play him at defensive tackle as well he can be like one of the best at that position as well and right after that we got eric dickerson this card is going to be a problem so he's six foot three if you don't know the taller you are the wider your jukes are and it's kind of crazy like harold carmichael randy moss you thought bo jackson was hard to tackle have fun anyway besides that i mean 98 speed even good catching break tackle all that stuff let's talk about abilities okay so x factor wise can get freight train nfl 100 they're trying to make us relive vietnam flashbacks man that shit is crazy but he also gets angry runs as well for one ap which is bo jackson's x factor baked on abilities human joystick for zero energizer for zero jukebox for zero hello this card is a god i don't know how much better a running back can get than him i'm actually so serious this this card is a problem. All right, and now we get into the LTVs. Now, I just want to say, man, Twitch chat reacted to this card right here, and they just instantly said, mid, mid, mid. Oh, he's mid. This card right here is not mid. Tony Gonzalez, 6'5", 243, 97 speed. I get he's not a crazy run blocker, but I'm going to explain something real quick in a second. So X-Factor wise can get double me, route tech, uh, yak him up is kind of crazy, but he also gets momentum shift, which this starts on for one play. Momentum shift ring of honor. Now this is interesting right here. So they talked about the ring of honor X-Factors where yes, they can start on, but the reactivation conditions is going to determine how crazy this card is because say if it's like two catches for 10 yards. Okay feasible we can do that if it's like you know say i have to get a touchdown with tony g or something then that this could potentially be a game changer this could change the entire game baked on ability gets red zone threat for zero that's cool it gets jukebox for zero and i swear they said secure protector for zero but even if they didn't okay secure protector for one ap is going to be one of the most slept on things that are on the tight end which everyone was like oh he's not a good run blocker he's not a good run blocker if you run secure protector on him for one ap he turns into one of the best run blockers one of the best pass blockers just because his ability to neutralize brushers and just not get pancaked, okay? Yes, his ratings aren't there, but ability-wise, this card could potentially be a game changer. I am going to, I think he's a top tier tight end in the game. It's going to be a wait and see thing. It's all about what his momentum shift does, in my opinion. Could be a game changer, could be a must-have player, in my opinion. And now the final card we got right here is LT Lawrence Taylor. So this card is 95 speed, great power moves, finesse moves, block shit. Now we look at his abilities, okay? This is another card that has potential to be a game changer. Why do I say that? Well, he gets bottleneck NFL combine X Factor. I'm kidding. Why did they give him bottleneck? But anyway, so um, he gets momentum shift again for two AP this time, which like I said about Tony Gonzalez, what are the deact or what are the reactivation conditions? Going to depend all on that. Other abilities, edge threat for zero. You would want edge threat elite just because like under pressure right now, especially with people using Bo Jackson, really, really big, but just base abilities, lurk artist for zero AP, defensive rally, secure tackler. I would go probably lurk artist in this spot right here, probably no outsiders. And then 
if you wanted to run the token on him. Probably, I'm, I'll be honest. It's all about his momentum shift, though. Depending on his momentum shift determines if he is a game-changing card or not. Again, he can be right here, but I'd probably lean just from the base ability stats right here. And honestly, probably like right here, if anything. I, I love me some D'Angelo Hall. And I think, like I said, I've said this a lot this video. I'm actually really excited to use Big Ben, though, because I just love cards like him. 95 overall gets those insane abilities. The way they made his card is what I enjoy about Ultimate Team. Yeah, boys. Hope y'all did enjoy this video, man. Uh, this was my breakdown on every single card. Again, with the lower overalls, it's all going to depend. Hey, can we take these abilities off? Can we keep some of the good ones? You know what I'm saying? But yeah, boys. Hope y'all did enjoy the video, man. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more content just like this. Now, if you guys do want to go ahead and see me use these cards live, I'm going to be picking up so many of them. I stream every single day, 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. Eastern. I stream here on YouTube and Twitch as well. If you guys do want to watch on the YouTube side of things, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, hit that noti bell as well. You'll be notified every time I upload or go live here. Or if you want to watch on the Twitch, check the links in the description, hit that Twitch with a follow. But if you guys do want another video to watch, check out this one right here because this new defensive scheme was kind of crazy.